Kwaha, Dalton probably Lee said yesterday that they've given their bench name, they've called their bench the Easy Company. Um, that was probably an ode to how effective the uh, the box bench has been in terms of being called the box squad. Um, just talk us through how critical has been the impact of the bench through the quarterfinals, semifinals, and how critical it will be in the final. And I think just for both of you guys, just talk us through the impact that Jacques Dinabas had since now this is his proper last test with the Springboks. Yeah, definitely. I think if you if you looked at the bench, even since uh, 2019, the bench had a massive impact with the Springboks. Um, so it's something that's been building up for, for years now. Um, and for us, when we're on the bench, we know we've got a responsibility to fulfill. And the nice thing is for us, we can watch them maybe the first half and see where we should falling short as Springboks so we can know what our job is when we go onto the field and rectify that. Um, but yeah, just playing in the final, we know it's going to be 80 minutes. Maybe it might might go to 100 minutes. So you never know. So you know you got to be ready and make sure that you use your opportunity when you get it. Uh, Willie, Rory O'Connor from Irish Independence. You guys seem to have built a bulletproof mentality in the last couple of years. You were there when maybe the mentality wasn't as strong in 16, 17, that kind of time. How has that evolved or been built and who have been the architects behind it? How do you build that for other teams looking to do Yeah, that? I think 2018 and Rossi and Jock and them started taking over. Um, we started winning, going back to our strengths, um, see what we as South Africa is good at in rugby, um, set piece, kicking game. We just went with that. And then we were evolving from there on up until now. So it's just always about getting better. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been through a, a lot of tough games, a few games that has tested us. Um, but as a strong squad, not only the 23 that's playing, but the, the other 10 guys that's training against you, giving you pictures the whole week. And then the staff and everyone else and no one else even sees how everyone in just squad just buys in to the same plan and for that same goal. Yeah, that, that, that's quite special. You mentioned no disrespect uh, from you guys towards England. How much respect on the flip side is there for New Zealand and New Zealand rugby? No, there's always respect. I think the rivalry goes back a long time and the games that's been played against each other is always, it's hard fought and then after the game you can see the guys, they gave it all. So there's definitely a lot of respect between the Springboks and the All Blacks. You would imagine visiting each other's dressing rooms again after Saturday night? I would say, yeah, there's a battle first um, and then you see what happens and then I think afterwards, yeah, definitely, I think that can happen. There seems to be less, less, there seems to be fewer scuffles on the field these days between the All Blacks and the Springboks. Is yeah, it's just, it's just a hard out battle out there. There's no friends when you're on the field. Um, I think that happens when the game is done and the whistle is blown, then, then all of that comes out. Changed ever since Bucky's retired. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kwaku, can I ask you a similar question about Felix and the impact he's had on you guys? Yeah, yes, I, um, Felix is an amazing coach um, and person also. But I think just his attention to detail, I think he's one of the guys that really spends hours and hours and hours on footage um, going through stuff. And I think all of us as Springboks are better players because of him, because he looks so much into the small detail. And he will tell you that and try and make you a better player. And that, yeah, we can just say thank you and appreciate it from him because he's a, he's a really good coach. Can either of you give me an example of something that he's picked out about your own game, maybe, that you didn't think about before that has changed and made you better? Vili first, maybe? Um, so if, if uh, I don't want to give something away, but if I pass <laughs> to the one side, I tend to fall away, so it looks forward. So it's just about running forward and continue and moving forward. Some, some simple example like that. Yeah, and for me, um, I think you always think you got a good pass until he takes footage out and say, listen, this is how you, you need to do it. And also sometimes on your catching to give yourself a bit more time on the ball. Um, he helped us a lot on that to catch early and to give yourself a bit half a second more time on the ball to make a decision.